welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing chapter 5 of uh, class 9th NCRT from the geography section the chapter's name is natural vegetation and wildlife because it is a pretty long and very important chapter with lot of things that need to be memorized what I have uh, tried to do is divide the video series into three parts so part one would basically talk about natural vegetation and flora fauna what are the um, reasons that uh, lead to differences in uh, flora and fauna and uh, perhaps some part of the vegetation in the second part i would go into details of each and every vegetation type and in the third part i'll address the question so that it would be a little bit easier for you so let's get started so as you can see the first heading that i have over here is meaning of natural vegetation so what do you mean by natural that you see or perhaps uh, the vegetation that are for commercial usage those are definitely vegetation but they are not natural vegetation natural vegetation basically refers to a plant community which has grown naturally very simple when such concepts come just try to see the topic natural and vegetation which just means vegetation which has grown naturally without human interference this natural vegetation is also known as virgin vegetation which is grown by itself without much efforts now this virgin vegetation basically can be of two types the first one is uh, i think the camera is not zooming in properly but yeah endemic or indigenous virgin vegetation so what is natural vegetation however you should remember that if the question comes only exotic vegetation exotic vegetation if I go abroad get something which is not at all there in India that also could be called exotic vegetation but for your exam and this text exotic natural or exotic virgin vegetation would only mean the type of plant species which have come to India from outside let's go to the second point what is flora and fauna so flora as suggested by the name is about whenever you get confused between flora and fauna just remember flora means flower so flora is used to denote plants of a particular region or period okay now don't think that plants means only flowers it can be any type of plants it is just a shortcut to remember do not stretch it too far 
fauna fauna which means species of animal to a particular region or period so in every place we go we can see flora and we can see fauna flora means plants fauna means animal if we see there will be various differences between this flora and fauna from places to places so what is the reason of this difference we will see now for instance you have gone to your maternal uncle or your friends a uh, place who stays in another state you might see the type of vegetation that you have in odisha it may be very different from the ones which is in kashmir or say which is in rajasthan so let us see what are the reasons behind this difference why is a camel found in rajasthan and not in kashmir why is a polar bear found in kashmir and not found in odisha so the reason number 1 is relief relief can be differentiated into two points which is land and soil so here what i mean is difference in land can lead to difference in flora and fauna for instance if it is a mountainous land as in the himalayan regions or any mountainous region the flora and fauna will be born accordingly but suppose if it is a desert land similarly you will have more of thorns more of uh, plants which have lesser leaves more of animals who need need lesser water so based on the land the type of land whether it is a mountain whether it's a fertile land whether it is just water it will differ from land to land second is soil so if you see there are places where rice and wheat cultivation is massive but then there are places where grasses also which will not grow properly so the reason behind is the soil the quality of soil if the soil is too fertile there will be good crops if the soil is not fertile there might not be good crops now there are weather now animals are not like human beings that they'll wear jackets and sweater so obviously god has already made certain mechanisms by which they can adapt to the environment or temperature so if you can see in rajasthan the temperature is so hot there is very less rainfall similarly the plants which grow are thorny types which do not require uh, much water they do not need much of the photosynthesis process so that is why they are more towards the thorny cactus type so temperature plays a important role second is photo period photo period means sunlight so how much sunlight a particular area gets also determines the type of plants that area would grow or the type of animals that will stay in that area so if you see in your book you have an example why do the southern slopes in himalayan region have thick vegetation than the northern slope so the answer is the southern slope in himalayan region get lot of sunlight so if there is lot of sunlight there will be thicker vegetation whereas the northern slope is very cold it's very high so there is very less sunlight the temperature is still more lower and that is why there will be less vegetation so in climate we first talked about temperature then we talked about photo period photo means photo from sunlight photo period third is precipitation precipitation means
whereas the east ecosystem ecosystem inside it all the flora and the fauna are mostly interrelated and interdependent that means they are related to each other in some way or the other and they help each other in some way or the other now in the topic of ecosystem another important concept that you need to know is biome so what is biome so biome basically is identified on the basis of plants always remember it is not identified on the basis of animals but plants so biome is nothing but distinct vegetation and animal life now you might think what is the difference between ecosystem and biome and animal so these distinct vegetation and animal life is known as biome so india has a terrestrial ecosystem but india has several biomes it may be the mountain or the mountain biomes it can be different types of biomes which we'll do in the next series point number d is types of vegetation so types of vegetation also determine the flora and fauna of a place there are different types of vegetation which we'll cover in the next series which are tropical rainforest tropical deciduous forest tropical thorn forest and scrubs mountain forests and mangrove forests now the details of this we'll do in the next series so again if we just have to revise first what we did what is natural vegetation in natural vegetation i try to talk about virgin vegetation how virgin vegetation can be endemic or indigenous or exotic or from outside then we talked about in this natural vegetation we have flora and fauna flora means the plants fauna means the animal flora and fauna are different in different places and we tried to analyze the causes the first cause was relief where we talked about land and soil second cause was climate where we talked about temperature sunlight or photo period and precipitation and the third point was ecosystem where we talked about biome the fourth point was vegetation from here two things that you need to remember is why the southern slopes in himalayan regions have thick vegetation the answer is they have more sunlight the temperature is little bit lesser but sunlight is the main answer okay the second thing that you need to remember is why western slopes of western ghats have thicker forest than the eastern slope uh, the answer is they have in the opposite side of the rain fed areas